that's finished in a way that you want the whole job finished because if you leave it smooth, job's gonna look smooth. If you leave it rough, your whole job's gonna look rough. clips on. I'll show you our clips. These are Rondo clips and simply they put back on the wall like that and then they just uh, get squeezed in like that. Like that. And that's our system to go on to. That's it. That's what we're doing. All right, we are back at the bathroom and here's a little bit of progress what we've been working on. The tiles are done, the walls have been up, it's all plastered. The tiles have been done, bath is in. Looks really nice around here. I'll show a few photos of how it looked in the waterproofing right now. Tyler came, we put the timber trim around the outside. I'm just gapping it up now. I've used putty, didn't uh, fill the recess, so I did that. And I don't have any corner cement on board, so I had to use that. So we're just gapping up now. Come through, it's all prepared, it's all sanded, come through, paint it all. It should come out perfect, but it's really important to get those, every step is important, but it's important to get that gaps drying, get it smooth like that, so when it's painted it just looks crisp, and you don't want to do gaps too thin, because any bit of movement, it just you can see a split in it, you need a little bit of body in it.
Thank you.